we are given the parametric equation below and we are determined the total velocity and acceleration are equal to. So first of there are two components. One is the x1, the velocity will be in the x component since there is a displacement in the x component and towards the y component as well and same is applicable for acceleration. So let's first talk about velocity. Velocity in the x component will be x prime, x prime t. So that's going to be a, a d over dt of cube uh, square root of t cube can be written as t raised to 3 over 2 uh, 1 over t square can be written as t raised to minus 2 and this plus t so this will become 3 over 2 times t raised to 1 over 2 uh, minus minus 2 comes down this will become t raised to minus 3 and this is plus 1 so this will become 3 over 2 root t plus 2 t raised to minus 3 plus 1 so uh, at t equal to 2 what is the value at t equal to 2 px at 2 is 3 over 2 times root 2 plus 2 times 2 raised to minus 3 plus 1. So this will become uh, 3 root 2 over 2 plus 2 over 2 cube is nothing but 1 over uh, 2 cube is 8. So 2 over 8 is 1 over 4 and this is plus 1. So this is the velocity, uh, the x component of the velocity. Uh, I'm not sure if they are interested in this because uh, this is the exact value they're interested in uh, in the net value anyway. So let's find Vy likewise. So Vy is going to be xy prime t. So y prime t is going to be 2t minus 2 times 1 over 2 times t raised to minus 1 over 2 plus 0. So Vy at t equal to 2 will be 4 and these two are cancelled minus 2 raised to minus 1 over 2. So this will become 4 minus 1 over root 2. This is the value of Vy at t equal to 2. Uh, and we have Vx, we have Vy. So the net velocity is definitely the vector sum of these. And since these are the two vectors, x is over here, y is over here. So these are at 90 degree. So net velocity going to be square root of Vx square plus Vy square. So uh, all we have to do is square of this and square of this as well. So that's where the calculator comes in. Just grab my calculator. This would be 3 root 2 over 2 plus this value square of this value plus uh, plus 4 minus 1 over root 2 square and the square root of this value comes out as 4.71. 4.71 and the unit will be uh, there's no unit given so we'll just write the absolute and a number without the unit so it's 4.71 uh, likewise now i'm going to work for acceleration so the acceleration towards x side will be v uh, prime x v prime sub x so what is v prime x which is this so we just have to differentiate this once again. So this will be 3 over 2 remains as it is. This will become 1 over 2 times t raised to minus 1 over 2. And this will become minus 3 times t raised to minus 4 plus 0. So the value of acceleration at t equal to 2 will be uh, 3 over 4 root t. And where t is nothing but 2, so 2. And then minus 6 over minus 6 over t raised to 4 where t is 2 and 2 raised to 4 is 16 and this is plus 0 so this will become um, uh, let's keep it as it is I mean this can definitely be simplified 2 is a common factor so this will become 3 over 8 so this is the acceleration towards the x direction and likewise towards the y direction it's going to be v v prime t of v y prime t so it is v y it is over here 2t minus 1 over root t so this will become 2 minus uh, uh, and that was t raised to minus 1 over 2 so this will be minus 1 over 2 times t raised to minus 3 over 2 so this will become 2 plus 1 over 2 times t raised to minus 3 over 2 this is a y so the value of a y at 2 uh, going to be 2 plus 1 over 2 times uh, 2 raised to minus 3 over 2. 
So we got both AX and AY. So the net value of the acceleration is going to be just like the velocity. It will be AX square plus AY square. So that's going to be, let me just grab my calculator. That will be 3 over 4 over root 2 minus 3 over 8 square of this value plus 2 plus uh, this will become uh, 4 root 2 1 over 4 root 2 and the square of this value and the square root of this value comes out as 2.18 2.18 thank you